let's talk about two functions that can help us generate random numbers. The RAND and the RAND BETWEEN functions. There are a lot of ways a random number generator can be used in Excel. In the current sheet, we see one such example. We had a competition with a lot of participants and we want to pick a winner. There are 20 participants, so we need a random number between 1 and 20. If we enter a number in cell D2, the name of the participant with that number will appear inside cell D6. If I type 1 for example, Lella Crawford will appear. If I type 2, Ramona Blair will appear and so on. But this is not what we want. To be fair, the number must be a random number. Let's see two ways to achieve this. We will begin using the function RAND. Let's see what it does. We type equals and the name of the function. The RAND function takes no arguments. We click on enter and we see a decimal number. RAND returns a random decimal number greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. Since this is not an integer number between 1 and 20, there is no winner. We can multiply this by 20. Since the minimum value that RAND returns is 0, 0 multiplied by 20 is 0. So the minimum number of the formula will be 0. Also. Since the maximum value of RAND can never be the number 1, the multiplication by 20 can never be the number 20. But we need a value between 1 and 20. We need to offset our result by 1. So we add 1 to the formula and now we will have a random decimal number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 20. As you can see, we still don't have a winner. This is because this returns a decimal number, but we need an integer number. Likely, Excel has a function for this also. The function that returns only the integer part of a decimal number is called int. We enclose our formula in an int function. And we have a winner, Ramona Blur. The random number is calculated again every time the sheet is calculated. So, if we press the F9 key on our keyboard, or from the Formulas tab the Calculate Now button, this number will change. So, in order to be fair in a live broadcast of the role, we would have to type the function live, this function here, and keep the first result it will bring. Alternatively, you could create a macro that could type the formula for us and link it to a button on the sheet or on the ribbon, but this will be covered in another video. The formula we have used works just fine, but Microsoft provides an easier way to achieve the same thing. The run between function. Let's delete the formula we have typed in cell D2. We will replace it using run between. Run between takes two integer numbers as arguments. The first one is the minimum integer number and the second the maximum integer number. It then returns a random number between those two. So in our case we type 1 as minimum and 20 as maximum. And once again we have a winner. Keep in mind that every time the sheet is calculated, the random number changes and so is our winner. For example, let's say that in cell D3, I type a simple mathematical uh, formula. 1 plus 1. The moment I hit enter, Excel calculates my formula, but it also regenerates a random number, thus changing our winner. 